Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Elaine Tavalachi, Staten Island, New York, demonstrating his power. The Lord says, You are the generation whom I have chosen to walk in my power, in my authority, and demonstration of my kingdom on the earth. I am about to release my glory on this earth as it is in heaven. You have been created for miracles and signs and wonders. Do not fear the words of the religious scribes. Ignore the words of the Pharisees. They will mock and scorn you, but stand strong on the word that has been engrafted in your heart. I have called you to be a light in the darkness. I have called you to be the salt of the earth. Do not fear their faces. Refuse to submit to the traditions of men. Do not blaspheme the Holy Spirit, but ask for discernment. Ask me. As you allow my word to sustain you, you will no longer be limited in your ways of thinking. You will no longer look to the wisdom of man, but you will understand the truth of my word. As you trust in me, you will no longer be confused by diverse doctrines. You will easily recognize the difference between my word and the doctrine of demons. This is the day to rise up and demonstrate my glory. This is the divine plan, the purpose that I have for you in this season. When darkness covers the earth and gross darkness the people, I shall arise upon you, and my glory will be seen upon you, says the Lord. See Mark 3, 28 through 30, 1 Corinthians 2, 4 and 5, and 1 Corinthians 4, 20. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, may we steward appropriately. Lord, may we steward correctly. In full submission to you, may we steward the glory that you are are releasing to us, the power that you have given us, Father. Lord, I pray for an extra sense of your authority, the kingdom authority that we have as your sons and daughters. May we walk in that authority. May we spread that authority to others. May we delegate others. Lord, we pray that we can be the harvest workers. We can be those that you send out, Father, to encourage, to inspire, to uplift Lord, that we won't get focused on the Pharisees and the scribes and religion, the the ways of man, but we would follow you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.